Hello peeps, today I want to talk about my concerns, predictions and other stuff in regards to uh, Gen Alpha and whatever other generations are coming after that, Gen B. And one topic in particular I'd want to pay attention to is uh, their attention spans. I've touched on this topic a little bit previously in my Matrix video but I want to put more attention on this. As we all know, Gen Z is probably the first one to be so to say raised by the internet but gen alpha is going to experience that term to the extreme now we're seeing the emergence of ipad kids basically attached to the internet since birth like it's a bottle and they really are in a matrix at this point and there are a number of reasons that it's quite concerning that i'll get into in this video and one in particular is that the internet is not what it was a couple of years ago back when the other generations were growing up attached to it but maybe less has now been fully co-opted by activists or social change to transmit their ideologies to sell snake oil and to basically be a farm monetize me please youtube you know for a fact that even if i did have a super chad voice and didn't sound like a rat right now no way in hell would they be able to make it through a video like this no matter what the topic is and here yeah, my engagement is down the toilet pretty much I guess I should probably start doing a YouTuber voice Hello peeps, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to talk about Super Brain Rock and my favourite skibbity toilets Oh look, they already left in the first 5 seconds I guess it's a bit late for that now and the case here is since they're basically being raised by AI algorithms it seems that they don't even need to think anymore a lot of videos are going viral basically saying that a lot of kids they can't even read they're jumping into toilets and doing whatever kind of weird stuff that they see on the internet because yeah when you let the algorithm take over you you don't need to think for yourself anymore i opened tiktok once on someone else's phone and the garbage that i was hit with immediately is just wow i don't even know it's like borderline illegal crap NSFW clearly aimed at kids I had enough in a few seconds and people are sitting there watching this stuff all day being molded and shaped by it they're basically being raised as worker fools but instead of working at a mine they're just working by giving their attention and time to this algorithm to make some guy in China rich and if you raise someone at birth to do something they'll never want to break out from it delivering their TLDR in the spirit of this video is Jenny Alpha cooked? Hell yeah, they are. Remember to like and subscribe. Hook to smash that like button. And remember to tune in for the next depressing podcast. See, the like and subscribe button even lights up when I say like and subscribe. Look, it's glowing in the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually gonna work. But yeah, through no fault of their own, they're being raised in a bubble. But that bubble can't sustain itself, it's gonna pop eventually. And we end up with a generation of absolute nothingness. Won't be able to handle when the bubble pops because of their own doings. And that's what makes this particularly concerning. Especially if you think you have something to live for in the coming decades. I personally don't. But if I am still around, I'm going to have a lot of entertainment watching the coming chaos. Oh no, Hawk Tua girl is going to be the president. That's going to be so embarrassing. That doesn't really matter because you know the position's fake and the big boss man in charge right now doesn't even know what planet he's on what I'm talking about is the generation on a widespread scale we've got a generation that doesn't know how to do anything we've got public schools that don't do anything for them what's gonna supply the blue collar workers in the next few years the white collar workers the economists the engineers apparently they say their IQ is rising across the globe but I don't see it there will be a few people that can do things, but the number's gonna go down. It's gonna be drastically lower than it was, say, 30 years ago. And because, as I said, they're being raised in a bubble. There's no need to know how to do anything. But that bubble is gonna pop. People are products of their environment, after all. Genetics just determine how they respond to that environment. And maybe this generation is still capable of producing people who can make work on par with Dostoevsky, HG Wells and so on but that work is certainly not appreciated as much as it would be in the past we're all drowning in a sea of absolute slop 
not even my opinion to say that mass culture is significantly downturned compared to what it was a couple of years ago. Anyone with any sort of influence is just resorting to making flashy expensive crap that's completely hollow inside. Just metaphorically 800 page books with nothing but babble inside. Going back to my earlier point that I don't have much to live for. Why should people be trying anymore right? The leader of the free world is an embarrassment. National pride is a joke. We're all completely ensnared by global conglomerates. Older generations threw the economy down the toilet and expect it to be fixed when they're dead. There's nothing to look forward to and people know it. In the past there was this sort of image of hope for the future. Things generally did seem to go on an upward trend. Nowadays it just seems like the past 300 years all of the enlightenment era is just getting thrown away. And for what? I don't know. Guess things are just getting worse along with the internet making everyone a bit black build they see through the gynocentric lies of society and how basically all of it was built by people who wanted to get the approval of some void and now the ruse is coming to an end recently i've been busy looking for work to be honest i'm not sure if i even want to get any job i might subconsciously sabotage the tiny chances i get because well, what am i working for it's not like i'll ever be able to earn big money get a foot on the property ladder or as if I'll have a family to support with my money or even as much as a childless relationship I'll just be working to make ends meet in a crappy rented apartment barely paying for utilities and I suppose that is a step up from the first century where you'd fight to survive against lions and tigers and crap but still it doesn't make it any good and in regards to that on the main topic of this video people have always been brain rotted right? Like, I don't know how much mythology was actually believed as religion back in the day, but surely there was a lot of stupid shit. The planet being a flat disc on the back of a tortoise or whatever, blood sacrifices to stop the PSL gods, pantheon of sexy lords, trying to destroy the earth or something. But no matter how stupid shit would be in the past, its influence was curbed by the non-existence of the internet. And now the internet is force multiplying brain rot and stupidity. And we get crap like 10 hour Roblox femboy goon sessions. Like what? Nothing from the past 10,000 years of history could be as stupid as that. Stop calling yourself a dog. Stop simping. Stop with your 10 hour Discord goon sessions. Your name is Barry25 from Oklahoma. You're not from Equestria. And on the topic of the future, I read a bill. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I think it would be fitting to describe how our world is going. Quote, I cannot convey the sense of abominable desolation that hung over this world. The red eastern sky, the northward blackness, the salt dead sea, the stony beach crawling with these slow, slow stirring monsters, the uniform poisonous looking green of the lichenous plants, the thin air that hurt one's lungs, all contributed to an appalling effect. I moved on a hundred years, and it was still the same red sun, a little larger, a little duller, the same dying sea, the same chill air, and the same crowd of earthly crustacea, creeping in and out among the green weeds and red rocks, and in the westward sky I saw a curved pale line like a vast new moon. So I travelled, stopping ever and again, in the great strides of a thousand years or more, drawn on by the mystery of Earth's fate, watching with a strange fascination, the sun grow larger and duller in westward skies. End quote. The story is explicit about the world itself coming to an end, life degenerating. I suppose I could say that people like me are a degenerated product of this dying society. Or maybe not, maybe it's cyclical. What do you think? Will the world ever heal itself? Are we just in our Weimar period? Usually how it goes is that the more dissatisfied men there are in the population, the less stable society gets. And the one thing men care about more than anything else is satisfying their endless first. Male first is, after all, the most abundant thing in the universe. I don't know, it's something to think about though, but that's basically it for now. Remember, always guard your melanin and remember to spit on that thing.